those who are very charitable in their deeds. Those who are very charitable in their actions. See, a lot of people nowadays, they basically give their two and a half percent. Well, that is if they give two and a half percent. They give what they can calculate. I mean, it's interesting, eh? It half his money, mashallah, nice to see you here. When it comes to business, they calculate 100% their profits. When it 100% eh? profits. When it comes to zakat, poor people do not know mathematics. They cannot even calculate 2.5%. See how bad it is? Their mathematical brain goes dumb. Dumbfounded. Can't think. Dumb. Two and a half percent, you know. But they can calculate the hundred percent profit that they make or should make in the business. Otherwise, they will give that accountant hell if he does not show them all their profits. And if the accountant just puts one percent for zakat, the they're all right with that. Accountant, good boy. Perfect. Excellent. Superb. Wonderful accountant. Get everybody to go by this accountant. Be careful you and that accountant don't end up in hell. Accountants, be careful. Eh? Hisab is a big thing. Oh, sorry. Hisab, calculation, is a very powerful thing in Islam. And the real Hisab we will see on the Day of Judgment. When Allah will show us the Hisab and the calculation of everything in our life. Not only money, our daily activities will be computerized and well calculated and presented in front of us. So that's very deep. Again, the point I was saying, there are a lot of people who only give 2.5% of their zakat, the third pillar of Islam, sadaqah, charity, sadaqah, sadaqah jariya, they don't worry about that. Oh, that's very big. Very deep in Islam. Muslims are known for that charitable sadaqah that they give. You know what the Prophet says? This is not zakat we're talking about now. Eh? Zakat, you've got to give zakat. See what I'm saying? Don't miss that point. Zakat, we've got to give. Do you know what the Prophet says about regular sadaqah charity? He says on the day of judgment, he didn't say the zakat. Zakat is a duty. But the sadaqah, that optional charity that we give, the Prophet says, that will turn into a shade on the day of judgment. You know what's the day of judgment? The Prophet says that the heat will be so much from the sun that pregnant women will give birth to their children. The people will be sweating out of fear so much that they will be in flood of their own sweat. The day of judgment is deep. And the sadaqah and charity that people give voluntarily, not your zakat. Oh, not your zakat. That's a different thing. That will be a shade over us on the day of judgment. Nothing to worry about. You're in the cool. The Prophet wasallam says about this optional charity that people give in life. And I want to rub it in, not zakat. Zakat has its own duty. You know, it's like tahajjud and salah. You've got to pray five times salah. But when you really want something done in life, what do you do? You get up for tahajjud in the morning, three, four o'clock. And we ask Allah for what we want. And the Prophet ﷺ says, Allah does not turn back those du'as. That optional du'a in the morning. The Prophet ﷺ says that a person besides zakat that gives charity, sadaqah, if the person does something wrong in this world, and I'm sure none of us are perfect, we are all wrongdoers. We make mistakes. We do things wrong. We say things wrong. We go wrong places. Allah gets angry with us. The Prophet says that charity that we give appeases the anger of Allah. 
It cools the gharab of Allah. If Allah is angry and about to punish us, being charitable and kind, Allah says, all right, all right, all right. My banda is so charitable. Yeah, hear what Allah says. Eh? Allah is like, he is so charitable. I get a little goosebump when I think of these hadiths. Allah says, he did a wrong. I'm going to punish him, eh? All right. But he's so charitable. He's so kind. He's so generous that he gives to other people. I, Allah, who is Akbar, who have got everything, can I not be kind to him and forgive him? See the mercy? See the thing of Allah? Allah says, if he, that ordinary man, can be so generous and kind to give, he is not more generous than me. Allah says, he is the greatest, the most generous. So Allah says, if he can be so generous, then I have to be better than him because I'm Akbar and Allah forgives him. See the maths? You guys understand that maths? If we want Allah's generosity and kindness and mercy and forgiveness, we have to be like that to others. And Allah says, he's God. And he's Akbar. He's greater. He is not a generous God. He is the most generous person. And let's take the last one before we conclude the khutbah. 